number of questions coming up since he became the subject of last night's uh, debate. He did, however, come out earlier today when he was enjoying the spotlight and talked about a host of issues. Here's a little bit of what he had to say. Social Security is a joke. I like to, you know, I, I have parents. I, I don't need another set of parents called the government. You know, let me take my money and invest it how I please. Uh, Social Security, I've never believed in, don't like it. Uh, I hate that it's forced on me. Um, you know, as far as for my son, you know, I want him to live in America that he's proud of. I'm tired of people downing America, uh, saying that we're this bad country. I mean, that upsets me and my friends greatly. Um, you know, we are the greatest country in the world. Stop apologizing for it. I mean, really, it just, I get real mad about that. I'm not sorry for being American. I'm not sorry for, you know, having the things I have. I've worked for them. I'm not sorry that, you know, I wish that uh, our borders were closed and that, that you have to come through in a legal manner. I'm not, I'm not sorry for any of those things. I'm not sorry that we're in Iraq. I mean, you know, my friends in the military that have come back and told me the thanks that they've received for us being there, that doesn't get enough play. I mean, we've liberated another country. I mean, uh, you know, freedom. It's things that every one of you guys take for credit, uh, 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 take for granted. Everything that Americans take for granted I mean, these guys haven't had it. Now they got it? I mean, that's an incredible thing. I mean, it's almost, you know, I don't know if you guys are Christians or not, but it's like somebody coming to Jesus and becoming saved. These guys have freedom. You know, our guys here that are poverty-stricken, they have cell phones. Those old people over there, you know, they, they have one pair of pants and a shirt. You know, so what we've done over there is an incredible, incredible thing. Has it kept us safe? Absolutely. I believe in that 100%. Joe Wurzelbacher earlier today on a host of subjects, uh, Wolf, when he was actually agreeable to uh, agree to talk to the press, but now is reluctant at this point. You know, four days ago, he became the center of attention when Barack Obama was campaigning here in Holland. Joe Wurzelbacher asked him a question about Obama's tax plan, and uh, he said he wanted to buy a company that... Uh, would cost about $250,000. Uh, Joe told me that at that time he was really asking questions about the tax plan, didn't really uh, understand it. That's why he was asking the questions. He now understands that he would not be eligible, he would not be affected, that is, uh, by a tax increase because he does not make $250,000. He says he makes far below that, but he says he still feels it was a legitimate question and he uh, does not take back anything he said. Wolf? Yeah, he'd have to make a profit, a personal profit as a small business owner of more than $250,000 after expenses in order to uh, pay additional tax to see that tax rate. If Obama had his way, go from 36 percent, which it is right now, up to 39 percent, which is what it was during uh, the Clinton administration. All right, we're going to get some more on this. Uh, Mary, stand by for that. Uh